as we begin this video please make sure to copy these lines of css from my repository and copy them into your index.css so that whatever we're going to be building in this video is going to behave as you would expect it to behave the repository is linked in the description and it is called html css yt so for this next project we're going to have this single page looking website and the challenge for this one is just going to be adding the background image here and then displaying the text over the background image and adding a slight overlay so that the text is readable so let's get started in my workspace i've created a new folder called project 9 and i've called this full screen and inside this folder i have the design image and i have the showcase image which is basically this background image and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new file inside here called index.html and then i'm going to create another file called styles.css styles.css okay and then i'm going to close this down and then inside my index.html i'm going to have my exclamation and then i'm going to link my two style sheets so link into dot dot slash index.css and then link into styles.css and the, i'm doing this by the way i don't know whether i explained it in previous videos but i'm doing this because i want this style sheet to load in first and then this one to load in second because html is evaluated from the top to the bottom and then i'm going to change this title into project 9 and i'm going to call this full screen background and then to begin with inside here we're going to have a header with a class of header and this is going to be creating this header with the logo on this side and this uh, links on these other sides and then inside here we're going to have a div with a class of logo and we're going to have an h2 and not not really an h2 sorry but an anchor tag that links back into the dot index.html file and then we're going to call this il.ore okay and then outside of this div we're going to have a navbar with a ul with list items inside here that are how many four of them okay and i'm not adding anchor tags to them because they're not going to be linking to any pages and they say services facilities locations and speak to a doctor services facilities locations and speak to a doctor okay and then outside of this header we have a section with a class of showcase and then inside this section of the class of showcase we're going to have a div with a class of overlay and then inside here we're going to have an h1 that says bringing health care closer to you so bringing health care closer to you and notice how healthcare is styled a bit differently with that different color so we're going to grab this healthcare and place it into a span so that we can access it differently and then below this we're going to have some text here that says because everyone deserves good health and says because everyone deserves good health and you can hear that car in the background i apologize and then we have a button here and we're going to give this button a class of btn and the text is says choose outpatient facility like so okay so i'm going to save this and then i'm going to open this up with the live server and this is what we're going to have on the screen so right away the first thing that i want to do is add the background image so inside our styles.css what i'm going to do is i want to access the class of showcase and i'm going to give it a background and because it's an image i'm going to pass in a url and this is coming from dot slash images okay it's coming from dot slash what showcase.jpg and when i save this then you're going to see this because the showcase is technically this but i want it to take up 100 viewport heights so i'm going to set the height here height to 100 viewport heights but remember because on mobile screens it's not properly supported then we want to return something in pixels or ram so i'm going to say calculate 100 viewport heights minus 0 0.1 pixels so that the computed value here so that the evaluated value returns in pixels instead of viewport heights which is much better supported on mobile so when i save this then this is going to happen but notice something if i try to zoom out when the screen gets bigger then we're going to have these repeating images so we don't want this to happen and we can avoid that using another property here called background repeat so background repeat 
and we're going to set this into no repeat so that the background doesn't repeat and then we now want it to take up the entire screen okay so we can see uh, background position and we can set this to the center and then we're going to add another property called background size and then we're going to set this to cover and which means just place it to the center and make sure that it covers the entire screen and so we are going to have this would you look at that that is much better looking already and this is zoomed out by the way and if i zoom in you can see that the image doesn't really even change right so back to 100 percent and then now i want to grab this text and move it to the center so i'm going to do that by saying for the showcase for the dot overlay class the first thing that i want to do is align the text to the center which is going to do this okay and then i'm going to say display flex and align it to the center and just like it to the center and then I'm going to place the same height that we have inside here and I'm going to place it here so that it's going to move to the center of this. And then of course I want to display this one on top of the other and we can do that by just changing the flex direction, changing this into color. Okay, so we're going to have this. Now what I want to do is I want to show you that you can actually have this on one line as well. So I'm going to remove this. And then right at the end of this, I'm going to set this to no repeat. So for the background repeat, and then I'm going to set it to the center and forward slash cover. And that's just, is the same thing as having all those other properties. You can see that nothing changes. And if I want it to the top, you can just change this into top. And because this image doesn't really have like, uh, like it's not really all that rectangular. So that you don't really see the effect of changing the position you can have it to the left as well and in, you know if you have an image that is big enough then changing these positions is actually going to matter and then let's go ahead and style this h1 let's go ahead into the dot showcase and for the dot overlay class you want to access the h1 and say font size font size set this into forum Let's say margin dash bottom to rem. Let's say change the color into white. And then let's access the span inside here. And then for the span, we're going to say the color is going to be a blue color, which is this color inside here. So let me grab it. The color is this one. And then let's access the paragraph. So for the oops, for the dot showcase. For the dot overlay class we want to access the paragraph change this color into white as well and then let's access the button so for the dot btn class we want to have a background color of white we want to have a text color of hashtag 111h27 we want to have a padding of 0 0.6 to 5 rem on the top and bottom and 3 rem on the left and right and then we want to remove the border so border none and we want to remove the outline as well so outline none and we want to have a cursor of pointer so cursor pointer pointer and then when we access the hover state for this then we want to reduce the opacity to 0 0.75 and then we can have a transition here so transition by 0 0.3 seconds okay so let's see how that looks and we're going to have this so choose outpatient facility looking fantastic and then let's get this button to be one rem so right here on this button let's say font size let's go above this font size set it to one rem okay and then below this paragraph we're going to have a margin bottom of two rem and you know what let me reduce this from two rem into one rem okay and then now what i want to do is limit this h1 so i'm going to give this h1 a max width of let's say 400 pixels that's too small let's say 600 pixels too small let's say 800 pixels there we go so that we're going to have this and then actually you know what i want to increase the size of this h1 on bigger screens so let's go ahead and add a media query so i'm going to say at media for a min width of 10 24 pixels then i want to access the showcase for the dot overlay overlay h1 and i'm going to say increase this font size Font dash size to about six rem. Let's see that. Okay, so we're going to have this, which means that now I'm going to have to increase the max width on the H1, and I can just do it on top where I was doing it right here, and I can just say max width of a thousand pixels. There we go. 
Now, I want to add an overlay to this, which is slightly darker so that this text can be more visible because this is white on white and it's not really all that easily readable. So what I'm going to do is inside my overlay inside here, I'm going to add a background color and I'm going to say background dash color and I'm going to set this into RGBA because I want to add a, an alpha value which stands for opacity and I'm going to set this into 000, 0, 0, 0 0.2 and right around here, you'll notice that we have an alpha value and now the text is just a bit more readable but let me change this into 0 0.4 and consider now it is darker and it is much more readable okay so once we have this then let's deal with our header so for our header what we want to do is we want to position it absolute so that this image goes behind it so let's go ahead and do that right above this right above the showcase we're going to access the dot header class do i have the dot header class okay i do so <laughs> for the dot header class what i'm going to do is i'm going to say position this as absolute and what you'll notice is this is what is going to happen so now the this uh, background goes behind it and then now what i want to do is i want to say display flex on it so that i can display flex and these items these links here they are technically supposed to be links because they are linking to other pages can go all the way here and then i want to change this into text white so i'm going to say display flex and align item center and justify content to space between now when i save this you will notice something you you expect this to go all the way to the end but it is still positioned here now if i remove position absolute then what will happen is that they go to the end but if i add position absolute then they, they are justified to the start so this is not what i want to happen and in order to fix this then we need to add a width of 100 percent, which means just take up 100 percent of the device width so right below this i'm going to say set the width here into 100 percent, and we're going to have that okay and then let's access this div with a class of logo so for the header i want to ask the div with a class of logo do i have the div with the class of logo okay and then access the anchor tag and i'm going to say font uh, size set this into about 2 rem and then font weight make this bold and then change the color into white like so so that we're going to have this and then remove the text decoration so text decoration now okay and then for the header i also want to add a padding all round so i'm going to add a padding all round of 1.5 rem can type to push it inwards and outwards as well and then i want to access this nav bar so for the ul so right here i want to access for the header for the nav bar for the ul then i want to say display flex and align at the center align at the center and justify content to the center and it's going to do this and then i want to access each of the list items so each of the list items and i'm going to say set a margin on the right of two rem to separate them out like this and then i want to change this text into white by going here right below this and changing the color here into white so that we're going to have this would you look at that looking fantastic now what i want to do is because on mobile screens this doesn't look all that good as you can see right so on mobile screens i'm going to hide this and then i'm only going to display it on larger screens so inside here i want to access the dot header nav and i'm going to say display none so and then right inside my media query above this i'm going to access the header nav header nav and i'm going to say display block and we're going to have this so on mobile screens it is hidden and then on larger screens it shows as a block element and i've just realized something notice how right around here that this text goes almost all the way to the edge let's fix that by going into the overlay into the overlay here and adding a padding of zero on the top and bottom and 1.5 rem on the left and right so that now it doesn't go all the way to the end to the edge sorry okay so that is it for this project and in the next project we're going to be cloning the google homepage. Please subscribe to the channel if you're not already and ring the notification bell so that you're always going to be notified of when I upload a new video.